Hey everybody, David and David here from PayItForward.com and UpPhone.com and in this video we're going to talk about the new AirPods Max. These are Apple's latest headphones and they come with a pretty hefty price tag. $550. Unlike some other YouTubers who shall remain nameless, we went out and dropped $550 of our own dollars plus tax on the AirPods Max. So for me that's a lot of money mm -hmm. and as I was listening to them, as I'm wearing them, I was definitely taking that into consideration, especially when some of the other premium consumer headphones like the Bose and the Sonys don't even come close to $400. So this is in a league of its own, at least in terms of price. Yeah, so let's talk about what comes in the box. Can we justify that price tag? Well, you get AirPods Max, you get the worst the headphone worst case, case in, ever in, made. Ever made. You also get the charging cable, but no charger. Right. And... If you want a headphone cable right. to plug it into your computer or your Android phone or whatever, it doesn't come in the box. You need to buy that separately for $35. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. So After now you're a tax, you're over 600 now. You're looking, yeah, exactly. One of the things that Apple made such a big deal about with the iPhone 12 event was the size of the box. They said, we're cutting down on the box size, can't fit the charger in there anymore. And then they shipped the AirPods Max in this giant box. Yeah. And my theory is that they had to because the case is so pathetic. Look at this. Look at the amount of padding that's in this box. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's a lot. Let's just take it out of the let's, case. We'll show let's talk about people it. why it's so bad. Headphones themselves are nice. Good build quality. Yep. Metal as opposed to plastic, that does make them a little bit heavier. And you, you do kind of notice it when you wear these compared to like the Sony XM4s. Right. You can definitely feel it, but I don't think it's so overwhelming that it's like, it's I awful. Didn't, yeah. And I, I personally didn't think to myself when I put these on or after I wore them for a while, oh, these are heavy on me. Yep. Never had that thought at all. I think they did a good job of balancing that with this mesh here. Sort of springy. Yep. Nice. Yeah, another thing to keep in mind is that there is no power button. These don't turn on or off. They're just always on. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you put them into your smart case. <laughs> their headphones know they're in your smart case, and then they go into a low power mode. So if you leave them out like this, uh, right now it's just using battery life. Yeah, it's going to just be connecting to my iPhone. It's going to be connecting to my Mac. I'm trying to make take a phone call on my phone. David was using the AirPods earlier, and my, you know, it's just went right to the AirPods. So that's going to be annoying because you're going to have to carry this thing around with you to turn off your headphones. I mean, yeah. That's pretty stupid. They do enter low power mode uh, after two, two hours. hours. Yes. So you're going to want to have the case with you. But let's let's talk about the case. I mean, when I first saw the reviews of people who got these early, I thought the case was going to be a little bit better than this. It is really flimsy. Right. It's really thin. There's, you know, it's it's not even, it's there's not, no padding. I think, yeah, I think the my number one complaint about it is that it's not functional as a case. Mm -hmm. Essentially, it's like a little wrappy thing that protects, you know, part of the metal and some of the, the ear cup here, yep. which can be replaced. But it doesn't protect this mesh at all in the very top of the AirPods Max, yep. which is probably, you know, like, if I throw this in my, I'm not throwing this in my backpack. No. It's going to damage them. Well, maybe you can look out for Apple's new... AirPods Max case carrier. Yeah. I'm sure that'll exist. Another thing to look at with the case is that it's just, it's the headphones are exposed at the bottom. Right, everything's exposed. You can't get the case wet. You would hope if you leave it out in the rain for two seconds, it's not gonna ruin the product. This, it's got the lightning port, which is just exposed. Yep. Drop of water gets in there, see you later. These are not, not water, water resistant, resistant at all. Yeah. So we've kind of bashed the case. The headphones, the sound quality, Right. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. So for me, I think that Apple optimizes the sound that is coming out of this thing in their own special way. So David and I have recently compared 28 pairs of headphones, and that includes some low-end ones, but mostly high-end models, including the Bose Noise Cancelling 700s and the Sony XM4s, yep. which are also sub $400, but excellent quality. And for me, these have that Apple optimized sound where they have sort of a peak. It's called presence a lot of the time or silver and somewhere around 15 kilohertz, there's a bump and then there's a little mid range dip and then there's a lot of bass. So they sound great. Like they're really good sounding mm -hmm. headphones. But then when you put on the bows, you realize, oh, there's a lot more to this mix mm -hmm. when it's more evenly balanced. So as an audio person, you know, this is not geared toward audio professionals. And I think that's why they're not called the AirPods Pro. Because there already are the AirPods Pro. What were yeah. your thoughts about the sound? So I thought the sound, it was, it was good. And one of the things, I've seen a couple of people call these the new king of noise canceling. And I'm, I'm not so sure. The noise canceling, 
pretty good. I am sure, no, they're not the new king of noise canceling. I didn't think that the noise canceling in this was any better than the Bose 700. Mm. Another thing to talk about is the, is the spatial sound. We, we tried it out with Star Wars. We watched a couple minutes of Star Wars and Darth Vader comes in on A New Hope and yeah, was looking for the uh, the Death Star plans. Right. And I, it was really cool, like, wearing these headphones. You put them on and you turn your head and the sound's still coming from... It can tell where the sound is coming from. I like that. Right. And it only works for the iPhone and iPad. Hopefully, eventually, it works with Apple TV as well. Because yeah. that's how I started to do it at first. I was like, wait a minute. This isn't working. And David was like, you got to use your iPhone. Yeah. Bro. So, that was very cool. If I was making a video called the best headphones for watching movies, winner. Easy. Especially if it was the best headphones for watching movies on your iPhone or iPad. Yeah. Definitely the winner. Hopefully in the future they find a way to build this into the Apple TV as well because it would be very cool. The thing that I liked about the sound of these that does differentiate them is that they sound sort of bigger, like more spacious. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, part of that is because these ear cups are detachable and magnetic, which is cool because eventually these are consumable products. They can be replaced for the low, low price of yeah, $69. $69, great. In any case, part of the reason the noise canceling isn't as good on these as it could be is that this is just some fabric. Yeah. Unlike the uh, bows, which are actually pretty solid rubber there that are going to isolate more of the noise. So open air headphones, especially for audiophile headphones, have a tendency to sound bigger. They say it's a bigger sound stage. So these sound bigger than the Bose headphones, than the noise canceling Sony headphones because those are closed back. These are sort of in between open back and closed back, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And that's how Apple got away with making this really cool sounding headphone that is really like an optimized sounding headphone that's going to sound great to 99% of the people out there who listen to them, but people that are audiophiles are not going to like them. Yeah, so the thing that really bugs me about these headphones, and I, I think why I would prefer the Bose 700s or the Sony's XM4s is, is simply the price. Mm -hmm. You can get the Bose or the Sony's on sale pretty often for less than $300, and then they're half the price of these headphones. And I, I think the quality of these, if, they, if price wasn't a factor, I might pick these just because I'm an iPhone and iPad user, mm -hmm. but I can't get over the price tag. Right, and if price wasn't a factor for me, I would pick the Bose because the Bose have a flat EQ response. They sound fabulous. They're, they're just great. I think that the noise canceling on the Bose in an airplane is going to be far superior to these. In a quiet room, there's not too much to cancel in terms of noise. But these ear cups are going to let more noise in to start than the Bose are. And so the Bose are going to have less work to do in terms of noise canceling. And as far as I can tell, the technology is just as good. So I like these headphones. I think that they're a, you know, a good product, but I'm kind of mad at Apple because I think they're horribly overpriced. Mm -hmm. Part of the marketing strategy that Apple uses for these is a shortcut. It's a shortcut that we all have because we are inundated with information every single day, and there's no way that we can deal with life without having these mental shortcuts. So one of these shortcuts is expensive equals good. And you see this all throughout your life. This is how we know that the $4 deodorant is better than the $2 deodorant. Even though it might not be, we can't research the ingredients in deodorant. It's how we know that the $500,000 house is better than the $300,000 house, even though it might not be because the $300,000 house might not fall apart within five years. So usually these mental shortcuts that we have built into us don't let us down. Usually a $50 meal is better than a $10 meal. It's a pretty, pretty solid bet. Mm. Do not be fooled by this little mental shortcut where expensive is better. And this is by a book uh, called Influence by Robert Cialdini, which we'll drop a link to in the description section below, which is the best book I've ever read on marketing. Fabulous book. But all of a sudden, the AirPods Pro, which were $250, are now an affordable pair of headphones because they're that much less than these. Yeah. Apple owns Beats. Beats has a $300 pair of headphones. All of a sudden, the kids that are asking for the Beats headphones that are $300 for Christmas aren't asking for the most expensive headphones that exist. They're asking for a moderate choice, which is only $300 compared to the AirPods Max, which are $549. Mm -hmm. So that's some of the marketing thing behind this. Apple isn't going to sell a ton of these headphones because most people are sane and should not buy these headphones because they're not worth it. But what they're doing is they're going to sell more of the less expensive headphones, which their marketers absolutely know about. They know how to price things. They know how to price products. And unfortunately, 
I think that Bose, Sennheiser, a lot of other headphone companies are now going to follow suit and price their high-end headphones at $550 and not $350 like the Bose are now and the Sonys are now. So thanks a lot, Apple. You just raised the price of premium headphones for all of us by $200. Come on! Brutal. 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 Take a breath, Dave. Too expensive. Too expensive. That's the marketing thought. AirPods Max. Good headphones. Too expensive. Too expensive. And uh, watch our other headphone yeah. review videos. And we're going to talk next about, or I guess next, depends on the order you're watching the videos, about the Sony XM4s and the Bose 700s versus the AirPods. And we'll, maybe we'll even talk about the Beats. Beats Studio. Yeah, the $300 Beats. Thanks for watching this video. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think of the AirPods Max, whether or not you're going to buy these. I mean, I would just say get the Sonys or the Bose. Yeah. Do you have it. any other questions? Yes. Yeah. We're happy to answer them. There's... Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about headphones.